Today I finally had an opportunity to have another look at my 124. In particular, I'm going to be checking the fuel pressure readings after I adjusted the EHA valve a few weeks ago. I just want to check that I haven't gone too outrageous and that they haven't drifted or anything silly like that. On a side note, you saw that I now own an engine crane and an engine stand. That's because Red's block is nearing completion. As you can see here, the machine work is in fact complete and the next step is to assemble the engine. I've purchased the bearings and whatnot and will deliver those to the machine shop this week. Uh, now they're going to deliver me the entire engine as an assembly because I have no way of getting it home otherwise and I'm not an engine building expert so I don't really want to do the bottom end myself. I'm happy to completely assemble the rest of the engine but I want the bottom end done right. Anyway, back to my 124. This is the pressure gauge installed. This is the lower chamber pressure as I have adjusted it and I just switched over to the system pressure. As you can see, it's 0.5 bar differential between the two. Specification is 0.4. So in fact, I have got it on the richer side and I'm happy with that because this engine isn't new anymore and I think it needs to run slightly richer to get the most out of it. I've always been suspicious of my cold start injector as well. Now with it disconnected, I am doing the leak test and you saw that that reading was approximately 3.6 bar beforehand and this is me patiently sitting there for about half an hour until I check the final reading. Now it needs to be no less than 2.8 bar after 30 minutes and as you can see it's just over 3.2 so it's well within specification for losing system pressure after being parked. Now my test is in fact invalid because you can see that there's actually a leak at one of my test lines here so the reading would have in fact been better had I have sealed the lines better. Now this is just a test of the cold start injector. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't leaking or dribbling um, when the car was operational. I have just blocked off its connection with an 8mm drill bit so there's no vacuum leaks and then I proceed to start the car. As you can see, absolutely no leaks and it has a perfect spray pattern. I wouldn't be surprised if it's never even been used but nonetheless that's quite impressive. I don't recommend trying this at home. Obviously that is fuel and ridiculously flammable. Uh, you don't want that going anywhere that's going to be a flame, a spark or on the hot exhaust. This is just me having a bit of fun. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> 